If you want to know how to fix the timer bug in your Tower of Hell game, make sure to watch the video all the way to the end to find out how to fix this. <laughs> Hey guys and welcome back to this video and in this tutorial we're going to fix the timer in the Tower of Hell series. Uh, the last part was like a few months ago but don't worry, Newbie is back. If you're new to the channel make sure to like and subscribe if you want to become a member. Click the blue join button down below, join my discord if you have any trouble. And um, basically it, we're just going to fix the timer because that's like the most requested thing. I was like change the local script to a script. But I figured out that you can, it's just gonna break. So that's why Newbie is back with another tutorial. And we're gonna fix all of this things. We're gonna be using, we're gonna add like a few remote events, but don't worry, I'll guide you through every single thing. So, I'm just gonna turn it to 15, of course. Okay, nothing wrong in here. All we're gonna do is that, um, gonna change up a few things so what we're gonna be doing we're gonna be firing this from the cli wait no we're not add in a script copy all of your local script delete it and paste it in here like that now you'll notice that fire server from a script newbie what no no so what you just want to do is fire client and do that over here too now, you may notice, like, newbie, what are we doing? Don't worry. Over here, we're going to type game, not replicated storage. And then you want to find the tower. It's game, replicated storage, dot new timer, tower, dot on, client event, client connect, function, player. And over here, game, replicated storage, dot kill all player, on, client event, client connect, function, player. So those are your basic events. Now, what we're just going to be doing is we're just probably going to fire another remote event, which will go to the server, so the server can communicate. So we're going to add in two remote events. We're just going to do remote event 1 and remote event 2. Just add in two of them in replicated storage. For the new tower, we're going to do re game replicated storage dot remote event 2. Call on fire server player. And now you want to just get this one, paste it in here, and change the two to a one. Now we're gonna go to servers for service, and I believe it's the kill handler, maybe. Uh yep. Change the kill all player to remote event one. Because over here, we're firing the remote event to the server. Over here, we're getting it up. And then for the kill all player, we're gonna fire remote event one. And over here, we're picking that up. So, now we can go back to, uh, let me see, what do we need? We need the new tower, and that's the tower selector. Change new tower to remote event 2. Because, over here, we're firing remote event 2 for the new tower. So let's test this out, because now what we did, we're just changing things up, and now everyone will see the same timer, and everyone's just gonna see the same. So... We're just gonna play for a bit. La la la. Whoa, trash GUI. Let me just get a few points. Yay. Boink. Boink. Anyways, so once the timer goes up, boof, and everything works. Yes, as you can see, everything works. Um, this will work for two players because what we're doing is. Over here, we're just getting the fire remote event fire. So let's test this out. So I'm here with one of my friends, and what we're doing is that once the timer goes like down, everyone is gonna get a new tower. Boom, we get reset it, and everything works. So if you did enjoy this video of bug fixing, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.